Jigimic sent me this game, Cosmic Factory. Are you a real-time game uh, fan? Um, yeah, yeah I, I do like some of those ones. Like, I really enjoy uh, Magic Maze a lot, and okay. uh, Kane's other game, uh, Fuse, I think is fantastic. So, Fuse? yeah, if it's done right, I think it's a really exhilarating experience for sure. So Cosmic Factory, basically, you're trying to score as many points as possible. You're you're a god creating a, a cosmos, of course. But forget the theme. <laughs> it's really about it's really about putting together patterns of same colored planets in zones. But you only have one minute to do it, and you have a draft of nine tiles. You know the famous three by three grid, right? We've sure. heard that yeah. a million times in games. Same yeah. thing, same concept here. Everybody gets uh, nine tiles. We do a pick and pass play. Uh, draft just like you would in Sushi Go or Seven sure. Wonders. Yeah. You end up with six tiles you chose, three tiles that somebody else just gives you that you have no idea, and then one minute to get as many of those three colored zones, blue, orange, and green, onto that three by three board. But here's okay. the kick. Here's yeah. the kick. Each one of the zones has a different frequency of the planet. So there's a lot more greens, but they're harder to score. Mm. A lot fewer oranges, but they're but they give you big points. Right. And then right. there's and then there's a little pathways that you make between them that can move you up. It's got two twists to it. Mm -hmm. Number one, the Reiner Knizia mechanic. You know it uh, from games like Ingenious where it's the last lowest score, right? right? Mm -hmm. So you got to move up your star track and those three colors, but it's the star track score plus the lowest of one of those three colors. So you're always trying to push up that low, you know, that low element. But yep, the yep, second yep. twist are these chaos cards. And this is what is diabolical. Kane's got about, I don't know, 30 different cards. And during the five rounds, each one of them completely break the game. So instead of a three <laughs> by three grid, you're doing two two by two grids oh and dumping one of the tiles. Right. Okay. Or and some of them are diabolical. Some of them are friendly. Like uh the green zones are going to score an extra point. Some of them are evil. Like <laughs> you get to turn to your neighbor after the grid has been done and flip over any one of their tiles where they don't score anything with that. Well, you know, they're trying to make this nice little pattern of right, a bunch right. of oranges, and then you flip the uh, the tile in the middle of it. So yeah, you flip their linchpin. What I like about this game is that I, I've got a love-hate relationship with uh, with uh, real-time games. I'm, I'm okay like in Steam Park where it's a, where it's a component of the game, but you right. still have yeah. the softness of I'm going to put together the amusement park. Right. Escape the temple. Escape curse of the temple. Yeah. It just drives me crazy because it's Insane. just it's frenetic. Oh, it's pure insanity. It's insanity and it's stressful. And my wife yeah. hates it. Yeah. So since my wife <laughs> hates it, we don't play it. So this one I tried out this week, and my wife said, Hey, you know what? This is one that I do. It's got a little bit of stress, but then it's got I'm scoring my points and I'm looking at the pick and plast play tiles. So I'm telling people out there, if you real if you're really stressed out by real-time games probably not going to be a game you want to play maybe just try it but if you like a little real time and you like the, the tile building i think kane has a perfect meld and the whole game takes 25 minutes perfect oh, cool, beer man. and pretzels night heck yeah